hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel in my previous session i have taught you how to connect the sign up page so in this video let's see how to display the alert messages so in the previous session i have just taught you how to show the response so in this particular session we'll see how to add a alert messages of the bootstrap we'll add the particular thing in a very designing format so we'll be adding the dismissible alerts whenever the warnings whenever i want to show the errors at that time so let's play the intro and move on to the coding part So let's uh, display how the things can be done now. So the messages, the alert messages. So I'll just go to the getbootstrap.com over here. So inside the getbootstrap.com, if I come back to the documentation here, and if I just search for the alerts, if I see the alerts, you can see I'm having the number of alerts over here. The primary, secondary alerts, you can, you know, the like, uh, what is the danger is the nothing but it is a red color, all those things. So now I don't want this kind of alert button. Like I need to, I shown you in the previous, I want a dismissible alerts. So dismissible alerts, you can see I'll be having uh, here in the below. So you can see I have the holy glucomal dismissible here. If I just click onto this button, this alert will get evaporated. So you can see like this. So I'll just copy this uh, code blindly. I'll come back to my code. So now the particular uh, code is just running at the server I have started. So now, so you need to know how to run the server. So whenever you want to run the project, obviously you need to run the command that is python manage.py run server. That means I'll just show you once again. So, so whenever you open the project, whenever you need to run it, you need to just run this particular command. You need to tell python manage.py run server. So this is the command. And one more thing I need to show you, like uh, if you are in the outside directory, if I see, suppose you are getting this uh, kind of uh, errors. So if I see, if I just run now command python manage, dot uh, py run server so if i run now you can see i'm getting can't open the file because this particular manage.py file is there inside my project directory you need to see where is your project directory you can see here it is inside my manage.py file is inside my project directory so inside here it is showing the youtube django so here first i need to come inside the project directory so now i need to run the command python manage.py run server okay so don't uh, think that is an error it is just a bug you need to see where is your running the manage.py file so you can see it is started so now i need to come back to my uh, which is the template folder i'll just go to the signup.html page so i'll just uh, minimize this one so now where i need to display the alert message i want to display the alert message here suppose if i just whatever i have copied the code from this one so i'll just uh, paste this particular holy glucumal uh, code so you can see if i just refresh it so this is a code which i copied so here i'll just command here simply after the sign up i am just pasting the particular code over here so once i paste this particular code if i come back and if i refresh this uh, sign up page you can see i am having a holy glucomal you should uh, check your some of this code are unfilled you can see i am getting the alert now you can see if i just click on to this it is just evaporating even if i open it if i refresh the page you can see i am getting this alert message but i don't want to happen this one i will run a for loop whenever i'll want to display the messages whenever i want to display email is taken username is taken as well as a password is taken at that time i need to show the error the two dynamically not like uh, just i need to show it uh, whenever uh, the page is getting refreshed okay so that thing we need to handle it now so for that one i need to import some of the modules so i'll just import one module here so i'll say from django so let's tell uh, from the particular django.contrib i need to import the particular messages things so i want to import the messages now so for using these messages i can access this particular stuff now so one more thing i need to do inside my settings.py file here is uh, that is why we need to handle the danger um, button won't work so for that one i need to handle one stuffs here so here what i'll do here is first i need to import the messages uh, inside my uh, the settings.py file where it is inside my project directory so i'll say so i'll say uh, from so i need to say here f r o m from from the particular django.contrib from django.contrib so i need to and even the contrib dot message we have contrib dot messages so here i need to import what i need to just uh, import imp what import the constant as messages constant as messages so m e s s e g e s messages so i am just importing this uh, model that is uh, from django dot contrib dot uh, messages import constant as a message so once i have imported these all the stuff so i need to activate this particular uh, command inside my 
so i need to just uh, register for the danger tax like if i just use that tax if i use a danger i need to get a red color if i use a warning i need to get a yellow color if i do use a info i need to get a blue color such kind of things so i'll just uh, go below in the settings dot file so here i'll be adding it here i'll just uh, add one of the things so i'll just say here so whatever the messages tag so if i just use a message tag so i'll just tell messag message uh, tags tag so wherever i use this particular tag i need to reflect these changes whenever i use a messages dot error message so it should be taken as the color so whenever i use a error messages so i need to take this color so which is the color for the danger i need to take it for the danger color so this is a red color so i'll just tell so i'll just copy this uh, red danger it should be taken so i'll say it should taken as a danger over here so i need to just use this one one uh, messages tag so now i'll just come back to my views so here i'll say whenever now i'll say here this same thing i'll just remove whenever the password is incorrect i'll say i'll just tell messages dot error so not the error i'll just say the warning so i'll just tell the warning here i'll just tell uh, request it will take as a first argument and second argument it will just uh, i need to pass the message here i'll just tell uh, password i'll just tell password is incorrect i'll just say password is incorrect over here so i'll just say so after indirecting so i need to redirect i'll just use the i'll just import one of the module that is a redirect so i'll just uh, import the redirect so once it is done i'll just tell return once this particular message is there so i need to take this message and return redirect to where i need to redirect to the slash sign up page that means it will run this sign up function and it will just uh, go to the sign up it will handle the sign up function as a get request and it will return the sign up dot html that is what this line is doing here so once it is done let me see whether it is working or not and one more thing i need to say here so same way i need to come back to the sign up uh, dot html page so you can see here i need to handle this particular uh, uh, the data the particular uh, bootstrap front end part dynamically i need to run a for loop for this particular data so how i can run it here so i'll say i'll just enter for so you can see i'm getting a syntax here so for loop syntax i'm getting it here so i want to end this particular for loop here you can see see perfectly so this is a dismissible alert which i copied from the bootstrap so i am applying a for here and i am just ending this for loop here so i'll say for i need to say for messag message so for this particular message from this particular messages so when number of messages even if i get i need to apply a for loop here i'll just copy these messages and i'll be uh, taking the object as a message in messages so whenever i get this one i need to change the particular colors here first i need to change the color so here i'll just uh, use this jinja techniques i'll say whatever the messages tags is i have added inside the this one so i need to copy this one and i'll just come back here in my settings i need to say same thing that is nothing but my message uh, message just so sorry message dot tags so whatever the messages tags i'll be getting it just this, uh, add this particular tag over here whether it that is nothing but this one so whatever the warning is there so this particular warning will be go uh, go to this particular place and if i just specify here as a error so that particular error will just go to the this particular place this will be like alert 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 warning alert alert danger that kind of messages so this is passing i am just passing this message dynamically so even you need to use the same thing so once it is done so it is fine so then i need to uh, i will just remove this uh, strong message here so i'll just remove this particular strong so now i want to show the particular message here so i'll so at the place of you should check in some of those uh, field i'll just remove this one so in this particular place i need to pass the particular message which i am getting from the particular for loop so whatever i am whatever the message i am getting from the back end that is password is incorrect this thing should uh, come over here and it should present so i'll just save everything let me try whether it is working or not now i'll come back if i'll just uh, open like this page so now i'll say i'll just create a new user so i'll just uh, create the new user as a uh, khan so i'll just tell uh, khan at uh, gmail.com now i'll just give the wrong password so you can see i'll just give the wrong password here and here also i'll just give the wrong password if i try to sign a sign you can see i'm getting password is incorrect so this is how i can handle the alert messages same way i'll be doing for here also i'll just go to the views so same way i need to i'll just copy this one so here also if the username is already present i need to display this one so here i need to check i'll just uh, change the indentation see the indentations properly okay so indentations are very much important here you should not uh, create a 
empty spaces unnecessary so whenever the username is uh, incorrect i need to show the info color here i'll just tell info i'll say username is taken i'll just tell uh, username is taken username is taken so i'll just tell username is taken over here same way so same way what i'll do here here is i'll just copy the same error so i'll just um, paste it here also i'll say the username is taken here it should be like email is taken email is taken this is all the errors i need to show so once it is done even here i'll just tell return so even i'll just uh, remove this one so i'll say whenever the particular sign up is successful so whenever the sign up is success i'll say sign up successful i'll just say here as a sig and use the sign up sign up uh, success please log in P -L -E -A -Z, please log in so i need to mention this message to the particular user now so along with this one once the sign up is done i need to redirect him to the login page directly so for redirecting the login i need to run this i need to pass this particular url that is nothing but a login so here it will be like redirect to the slash login page so it login page will run it will go to the login url and it will handle the function handle login so this particular function will get run and it will return the login.html file over here so it is what it happens so let's uh, see whether all the things is working or not so i'll just uh, save everything and i'll come back to the page so here i'll just uh, refresh it again so now i'll give the uh, ark so the ark is a user it is a super user ark is a user if i just tell ark at uh, gmail.com and if i give the password one two three four five one two three four five if i try to sign in you can see i'm getting username is taken even you can see the color has been changed here and one more thing i want to show the color so once it is done sign up is success i want to show the success uh, color that means green color so i'll just use a success here so then uh, so it is fine so i'll just tell erk1 so if i just tell erk at uh, gmail.com which is email is already taken if i tell eaa and if i just tell yeah, yeah, yeah. so if i turn in you can see i'm getting email is taken even the email is getting handled now so now i want to give the perfect uh, stuff so i'll say here as a i'll just uh, use the username as a preeta here and if i just tell uh, see preeta uh, 8 at uh, gmail.com then i'll just use a password as my name and i'll just use a password here also my name here so if i try to sign in with the perfect credentials you can see it is redirecting to the login page but i not got the particular message here why because uh, i need to apply i need to write this particular for loop inside my login page also i'll just copy this for loop now if i come back to the sign login.html page so where i want to display the message i need to paste this particular for loop over there so same for loop i'll just copy and paste it now so once i paste it if i refresh so you can see i am getting here so the sign up success please log in it is automatically redirecting me to the login page so this is how i can add a dismissible alerts so wherever in the code i want i can just use this one line of code and i can display the messages so that's all for this video in my next video i'll be teaching you about the how to log in and how to log out from the session so if you like this video subscribe to my channel and share with your friends and i'll see you in my next video